Aha. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to give you guys my swing picks for the week. Uh, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, guys, this week coming up, there is some good um, opportunities here for us to to get in some, into some plays that uh, I've been looking at. So first one on the list here is NIO, ticket symbol NIO. Um, this is a stock that we've covered here on the channel, and I've always given you guys opportunities or tell you guys when to get into this particular one. Uh, for transparency, I do own NIO long term that I bought a while back uh, when it was still like under $10. So, uh, but this one is just a stream trade that I'm showing you guys here. So this stock has actually uh, been doing a lot of consolidation around that 54 to 56 price point. And so uh, if you ever wanted to jump into the stock, this would be a good opportunity to get in and just uh, hold it here uh, to get from that 56 and go test 65. That would be a logical step uh, for the stock. And again, uh, at this particular point, if you're swinging and you get into, let's say, at 54, between 54 and 56 dollars, and you put a stop loss at, say, 53, in case it ever pulls back, you get out. But otherwise, uh, 54 to 56, good entry point, then hold it there and ride this thing all the way to 60, 65 uh, for some profit. So, uh, again, the one thing that I want to make sure that you guys know here is that uh, Neo also just got uh, a ton of shares bought by BlackRock. So BlackRock actually bought shares of Neo, about eight million shares of Neo. I'm uh, just again emphasizing the, the the strength of the company, the fact that uh, institutional investors are continually buying more of the stock. So that's it. Number two here is Clover Health. Uh, investments. So this one um, actually went through a really tough uh, week this past week because the stock got beat down like a cockroach because um, uh, Hindenburg Research actually put out a report uh, about the company, you know, you know, some things about, you know, fishy uh, business deals in the company. And so let me bring this up here. So this is it. So the stock actually dropped 12% after that short report from Hindenburg Research. And we know Hindenburg Research, uh, when they did their report on uh, Nikola Moto, I mean, that stock took a beating and never recovered. The stock went, it, it, this stock was trading at about $90. This thing, uh, Hindenburg Research came out with their report. That stock dropped and has dropped all the way down to under 20 and, and just recovered. And it's just been under 30 um, ever since then. So you got to take this guy serious. But after they put out this report, um, Clover Health actually came out to and, and say, hey, you know, the Hindenburg group uh, attack. Uh, was a desperate attempt to position itself as a white knight. So they're not backing off. They're not, I mean, they're defending their position, unlike uh, Nicola Moto, where they just kind of fold their tail and ran away. These guys are actually backing and, and standing up for their company. And the one thing that I also really think that this is just uh, a, a nothing burger, in my personal opinion, is because uh, the people that are behind this company, someone like Shamar, who is a really good investor, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he did his due diligence on this company. And he has actually said that this company is one that has the opportunity to 10x. So, I mean, and his picks have been really, really good to us. All the different sparks that he's actually taken uh, some of them public, man, the stocks are doing really, really good. So, again, I still think that this is an, a buying opportunity. So, if we look at the chart here, we can see that this stock, uh, let's just go back here a week. So we can see this stock was sitting up here, uh, around at $14 uh, price point. And then when that research came out, you can see how the stock just collapsed all the way down to a low of, uh, of about $11.56. This would have been an excellent entry point if you could have cut it down here. Um, man. That would have been awesome. But again, to me, uh, between 13, 11 and $13, that's not a bad entry point for this stock. And then you can ride this thing all the way to like uh, 16, 17, or even 18. And if you push it, we can test uh, 20. Because uh, what we've seen is that most people would actually just react and start selling when they see a report like that before doing their due diligence. So um, again, they sell 
turn around and do due diligence and realize that, oh, it was a fake or the report doesn't really uh, hold water. And then they go out and start buying back again. So definitely check this one out. Uh, Clover Health Investment. Next is Matter. Again, guys, we've talked about Matter here. I did a video here where I told you guys that these two plays are going to jump uh, because when Bitcoin took that bidding and came down all the way to $30,000, Matter and this other one here, Riot, um, took the bidding as well. They dropped down to under $20. And I said, guys, uh, if Bitcoin is consolidating around $30,000, these two plays are also going to consolidate where they were currently trading at about $19. So if you have any opportunity to buy, this would be it. So Bitcoin this past weekend went to as high as over $40,000. So again, that when Bitcoin moves, these two plays here do move matter and riot move. So if Bitcoin continue to move, uh, I'm looking at matter to go up to around that 27, 28 price point. And again, from there, um, it's just going to depend if Bitcoin wants to go test 50 and then I would see Mara and I'll see uh, Riot testing 30 and breaking that 30 price point. So um, don't be surprised because we've seen it. It's already gone up to 2890 uh, for high. Uh, that was in January 4th. So again, if Bitcoin continues to make the move that Bitcoin is making, anticipate that these guys are going to keep moving too. Um, it would surprise me if they break 30. Um, you know, that would be a good a payday for us so last one on the list here is nano dimension this is another great company um that really does a lot of nanotech um fabrication so this one i'm looking at this company um to consolidate uh, and then make a move if we see steadily the past uh, month the stock has actually been climbing up and as a high of 16 dollars and 78 cents before pulling back and then see we see it's just like sitting here so if we can catch this one at about that 13 dollar price point and then ride this one all the way to 20 um because this stock i don't think it's coming back again it's unless something drastic happens this stock is on its way up so if we catch it at 13 dollar price point and then slowly ride it up all the way to twenty dollars that would be excellent so guys those are the stocks that are, i'm actually uh watching this list again just a quick recap here i'm talking about neo ticket symbol and i o i'm talking about clover health ticket symbol is c l o v i'm talking about mara ticket symbol is m a r a I'm talking about raya ticket symbol is r i o t and finally we're talking about nano dimension ticket symbol is n n d m uh for this week so let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions again guys um i want you to be smart with some of these plays i don't want you to just jump in because uh you you saw uh people buying i want you to jump with a plan so start by averaging your way into the stack don't just jump all in from day one if you have again uh, uh the opportunity to buy 1000 shares Again, that's just a hypothetical number. Start with 200, 300, and see the direction that the stock is moving, and then average your way. If it's going down, you average your way down. As likewise, if it's going up, you can average your way up as well. So definitely um, make sure that you're buying the stocks with some smarts, not just jump in there. So again, let me know in the comment section. And if you get in here for a swing trade, guys, put a stop loss and say, hey, if I buy Nano Dimension at $13, I'm willing to cut my losses at, say, twelve dollars and fifty cents or say at twelve dollars but again you want to find that good opportunity where the stock can bounce uh a little bit before you don't want it to just kick it off and then and then just squeeze you want to give some breathing room there so that it can it can bounce and then squeeze while you're still in the trade and it doesn't kick you out so just um a quick tip there for you guys again if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.